The sunny Sunday afternoon ended with the junior men's 12.5K pursuit. Francis Fabien Claude, who won a gold medal in the sprint last year at Obertiliac, finished fourth in yesterday's sprint, but came back today with a dominating performance. Claude took control of the competition at the first prone stage, cleaning and moving permanently into the lead. He added a single prone penalty in the next stage, cutting his lead to six seconds, but all of his closest rivals were also missing shots. From that point, he aggressively attacked the biggest hill on the course and extended his lead. Uh, I was in a good shape and uh, my glide was uh, very, very uh, amazing and uh, it, uh, it's uh, good for all the team. Although he had three penalties in the standing stages, Claude was never challenged. Russia's Alexander Povernitsyn, who had won the sprint, fell off the pace early with two penalties in prone. He continued to add penalties until his total reached six. However, his strength on the tracks kept him in medal contention throughout the competition. After the final standing stage, he slowed but claimed the silver medal. Norway's Jorvan, the bronze medalist, only moved into that spot after cleaning the two standing stages and flying around the final 2.5K loop back to the stadium. I'm very happy to have a, a gold medal, so uh, there is a, a still one race at the, the individual, and uh, I want to be great, and after the relay, it's very important for the French team. After three competition days, the athletes will get a day off before competition resumes on Tuesday with the youth individuals. Wearing his gold medal, Claude had a message for his idol, Martin Fourcade. Hello, Martin. Uh, I want to be uh, like you uh, in, in the future. <laughs>